As for COVID-19 antibody tests are popping up everywhere, targeting people wondering if they may have had the virus and not realized it. Well, now Congress is demanding more oversight of those tests after widespread concern about their accuracy. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us with the latest on this controversy. Doc. The FDA has unfortunately created a lot of confusion and uncertainty about these tests by allowing them to be sold without any sort of authorization. As of right now, the FDA has only verified and authorized just eight tests. However, there are 150 antibody tests on the market in the U.S. that have not been reviewed by the FDA, and another 24 laboratories are conducting their own antibody testing also without any FDA authorization. Now, a team of researchers in California analyzed a dozen of the tests and found one in three produced false positives more than 10% of the time. Scientists say, in general, the serum antibody tests, those are the ones that involve a blood draw, seem to be more accurate than the rapid tests that require just a finger prick. The bottom line is, most of these tests are not reliable right now, and even if you do test positive for antibodies, it's really unclear if they'll provide any immunity to the virus or how long that immunity might last. Back to you. All right, thank you, Doc.